Right, the best way to get rid of pests is to eat them. Some people are squeamish about pigeon as a food because we make the mistake of thinking these dirty little buggers are the ones you eat. But out of town there's a different species and a different pest. Wood pigeon are rich, gamey and delicious. But it's because they gorge themselves on millions of pounds worth of crops a year. So to help farmers, we should be eating as many as possible. I'm in Essex to learn how to shoot these birds properly with the help of pigeon big gun Gary Green. Where do you shoot it? Are we looking for the head? Good head kill. You don't want to spoil the meat. No. A nice clean kill. The yeah. lead passes through the bird. Nothing worse than eating a pigeon breast. Have you have got these little small ball yeah. bearings. No, that's right. And it is, it is crop protection is what we're doing. I'm doing it for food. Yeah. Right. I'm starving. <laughs> yeah. Pigeon are one of the tastiest birds to eat, but one of the trickiest to shoot. So I've opted for something as fast, agile and unpredictable as they are to practice with. Yeah, bring it a little bit fucking closer. These remote control planes will mimic the pigeon's movement, and if they don't explode, I'm a shit shot. Fucking pigeons are half that size. <laughs> Fuck. Track the bird, track the bird, move off and fire. Yeah. Well done. Direct hit that one. With my shooting skills improved, I put the fact that these planes were much bigger than the size of a wood pigeon to the back of my mind. She's well and truly done, right? Now for the pigeons, yeah? Excellent, thank, thank you. you very much. Bloody hell, thank you. That's good practice. We're heading to a rate field that should be in full yellow blossom, but it's been eaten away, and if it isn't protected soon, it will be gone completely. Gary's laid out decoys to convince passing birds it's safe to land. And that's going to track them over? Yeah, sure. Are you sure we didn't get them from fucking Coronation Street? Look at them, <laughs> huh? Stuck on the wall. And it's crucial they don't see us first. <laughs> Are you fucking real? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, all jokes apart. I mean, do we need this fucking thing? You will do. We're talking about a pigeon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? But if we want them at 25 yards, this is what we've got to do. Seriously? <laughs> and I'm going to say... <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Are you taking the piss out of me or what? Seriously, no? <laughs> this is it. This I've, is it? I've got mine here. Go on. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> we'll get arrested. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We're ready to shoot. All we had to do was wait. Why do birds suddenly appear? Fuck! You're not expected to do well straight off. It takes a while. I am. <laughs> Fucking hell. Did you see it? Actually came up to me and stuck the finger up, shut on my head and then fucked off. The pigeons were lightning fast and the excitement was getting the better of me. Damn shit. Fucking hell. But there were plenty of birds. Look at that lot for you. And I had plenty of cartridges. How about this one? Safety off, shoot. And again. Yes! Lovely shot. Fuck well done. Up. Well done, Finally, man. Jesus Christ. On your third shot. Well done. Brock the dog is used to find the birds quickly and prevent further damage to the crop. Yep, that's your bird, sir. You're very Fantastic. first. Fantastic. Palumba Columbus. About time, though. Well done. Fuck. A top notch shot can bag hundreds of pigeons a day like this, many of which are exported to the continent. You've been into it now, haven't you? Yeah. Where pigeon is very popular. Again. Well done. With Gary's help, I shot three in around three hours and they weren't going anywhere. Well done. Fuck. I couldn't wait. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> well, a lot more difficult than you think, you know that? Huh? Oh, yeah. I knew it was going to be tough, but I didn't quite think it was going to be that fucking hard. In the kitchen, I'd pluck the pigeons first, but Gary has a method I've never seen before. So you're not plucking them? No. Oh, no. no, no, it's too messy. Right. And it takes too long. Yeah. So I'm just going to dislocate the wings. Yeah. A little bit there, and just roll it out. So... Bloody hell. And no mess. Yeah. And no feathers everywhere. So dislocate the... Just dislocate it and wind it off. And then break out right-handed. That's it. Right. Yeah, and you just pick that off there. And that'll skin right off. Jesus. Well done. Christ of mine, so much quicker and a lot easier to cook with as well, you know that? Look how rich that is. Mm. Huh? I'm very lean. Yeah. Lean, healthy and fucking delicious. 
Gary's taught me how to shoot and pluck them. Now I'm going to show him a delicious way to cook his pigeons. I'm going to do a really nice um, salad of pigeon, black pudding, mm -hmm. yeah, and pancetta. Cut through the wishbone, which makes it easier to remove the pigeon breasts. Nice thing about pigeon, it's slightly gamey, not too strong, but bloody delicious. That's what I want there, look. Really nice thin marbling of the fat in there. Marinade in salt, pepper and olive oil to keep the pigeon tender. Whilst I'm waiting, cut up the pancetta into nice sort of lardons. Place the marinated breast in a hot pan. Beautiful. And literally one minute each side. Whilst the pigeon rests, fry the pancetta in the same pan. Pancetta in. So I'll make a very, very quick dressing. I'm making a dressing with olive oil and sherry vinegar. The sherry vinegar gives it a really nice tart, exciting flavour. Add salt, pepper and lemon juice. Just a little tablespoon of the vinaigrette. So as the pigeons start to cool down, it absorbs a really nice sherry vinegar. And this is where we get the black pudding. And the black pudding gives it a bit of a spice. Yeah. Just crumble into the bacon. That is a chef's dream. It smells fantastic. Deglaze the pan with sherry vinegar. It gives it a really nice sort of vibrant flavour. Drain it through a sieve onto a plate. That is fit for a king. Dress a watercress, rocket and frisée salad and add the black pudding and pancetta. Mix that through. Colours are extraordinary. But the real star is the pigeons. Look at that. I never thought an Essex bird could be so fucking tasty. Pigeon on. Touch of vinaigrette. Off you go, my man. Cheers, thank you. Tuck in. Nice. Crispy bacon and a really nice pink pigeon. What well, a lovely way of eating black pudding as well. Mm. In a salad, crispy, fried, and the bacon. That's fantastic. I can clearly cook, but I can't fucking shoot. <laughs> you know.